Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Pisces, June 27, 2022. You're inclined to go inward today, with the moon in your solar 8th house all day, and you readily make this an illuminating, positive experience. As the day advances, with a Mercury-Pluto aspect coming into play, problems weigh more heavily on your mind, mainly related to your past, childhood, family, and home life. Changes or a sense that you can't control things can leave you somewhat insecure. You might crave doing something new, healing, and spirit lifting but end up sticking with what's familiar because you fear missing something important. You'll benefit from a bit of perspective if you're feeling overwhelmed. You're likely too close to a situation. Opportunities tend to come to you when your mind is free. Some secret fires are burning right now. There is a powerful energy in the atmosphere that could really transform for the better any relationship you would like to see changed. The key is taking action when it seems appropriate. You will most certainly get a chance to deepen a significant relationship, and you would be wise to take it. Try to maintain some of your control over your joint financial assets, investments, and debts when the moon conjuncts Uranus in Taurus. This aspect could go one of two ways. It could be surprisingly fortuitous as you may have an investment paying off, immense power over your resources, or even debts being unexpectedly cleared. However, the conjunction could refer to a sudden loss of value, such as an investment becoming a money pit. Regardless of what happens, just know that the universe has your back with this unanticipated financial transformation. You are at an emotionally climactic point right now, and you might find that harsh opposition is coming to you for no apparent reason. There is a stubborn, strong, and oppressive force today, and you ought to be aware that the more rigid you are in your viewpoint, the harder it will be to make any resolutions. Compromise is an essential virtue for today. Personal relationships don't always run according to plan. Turbulent situations crop up again and again, requiring all your energy. Smaller arguments and conflicts seem to be pre-programmed. Keep calm and deal with this turmoil in a relaxed fashion. You have some serious interpersonal magic working on your behalf right now, so don't be a chump get out there and work it. Drop your hanky and see who picks it up. If you feel your romantic life needs re-evaluating, make an assessment of your personal life and understand what is positive, unique and desirable about you, also what you want and why from a relationship. In this way you can create a sure and positive impression when you first meet others that they can respect. Today will be a return to more quiet times for you, just as it is a calm day for you. It might even feel as if you were using all your enthusiasm to root for your team, and then comes along the terrible letdown of defeat. It's a day for reason and self-composure, though you may see a lot of unhappy people around you. Your ability to control your emotions will be a great help to you today. This is apt to be a day of strength for you. The presence of and vibration will enhance your connection to others. It can also encourage you to respect the qualities found in others, no matter how diverse they are. As a seven, this can be challenging at times. Let this energy help you to attain greater acceptance and tolerance of those around you. Doing so will bring more harmony to your professional and personal life. At the same time that the sun is spending his first weekend in your career sector, Neptune has come to a standstill in his last indirect motion in your work sector. With the sun urging you to hold back ahead of a new moon next week that will provide a lot more insight and momentum and Neptune putting the brakes on work and job matters, professionally this is a valuable chance to pause. This makes the moon's return to an adventurous part of your chart a case of perfect timing, with even the professional gods encouraging you to embrace the weekend spirit ahead of a pivotal working week. Thanks to the moon's visit to your relationship sector earlier in the week you will be feeling more emotionally engaged, something that could still be fueling strong emotional and passionate responses. This is being fueled by the fact that as Mars prepares to move into his last full week in your relationship sector is also just 24 hours away from aligning with the dwarf planet Eris, the warrior princess of the cosmos. Our Eyes in the Sky
The Taurus moon makes a soft yet helpful connection to Mercury this morning, helping us wake up early and get into gear quickly. If you've been feeling low energy lately, this can be a great time to reconnect with a passion project and a lust for life. Just try not to rush too quickly through the day, and be careful about how much multitasking you do. A collection of tense aspects between Mars, Saturn, and Uranus could mean small mistakes have big consequences. Try not to butt heads with authority figures right now either, because it could leave you feeling powerless or restricted. If any mishaps do occur throughout the day, try to face them head-on rather than waiting until later to handle them. This evening, the moon forms a harsh square to Pluto, which intensifies the cosmic climate we've been contending with all day. Try not to put too much pressure on yourself or others right now, and give yourself permission to take some alone time if you need it. If you do feel weighed down by emotions or responsibilities, a healthy outlet like walking or stretching can help ground you while releasing the physical symptoms of stress. Today could be rough, so it's important that you are patient, gentle, and loving with yourself and your loved ones. In the pre-dawn hours, Mars in Leo forms a trine to Chiron in Aries, helping to counteract self-esteem issues. This influence is healing, allowing us to recognize where false pride has worked against us. Rather than situating us for success, posturing tends to reveal where we secretly feel inept or lacking. At this time, instead of peacocking or overcompensating, we let our creativity, passion, and vitality speak for themselves. By demonstrating our strengths without being a show-off or angling to compete, we help others access their own confidence. Remember, inner strength is just that, interior. It doesn't need to be forced upon others to be valid and powerful. After sunup, the Taurus moon sextiles Mercury in Gemini, which is still not quite out of its shadow period. Themes from the last two weeks of May are still cropping up and demanding reflection, and may therefore become the focus of our conversations. We are in the mood to banter and gossip, particularly keyed into how certain information stirs our emotions. For this reason, we are self-aware enough to not linger in dramatic moods, balanced in feeling and intellect. This doesn't mean we are not eager for excitement, but that we have self-control. Because we recognize the power of mood, we can help others analyze their problems, so they don't turn molehills into mountains. This transit is ideal for trivia or playing other competitive but light-hearted games.